So, what do you do when a project goes wrong or not the way you wanted it to and you don't like it? Well, what I do is I cut it up into tiny little pieces and make it into something else. Mm -hmm. So, what we're doing here is we are making a mosaic tray from a coaster that didn't turn out the way that I wanted it. So I have a, a big rectangle tray. I think this one is like 11 by 7. Uh, I got it off of Timu. Um, I'll try to link it down below if I can find the link to it. Um, and I also have uh, about, let's see, 160. 160 mil of resin because this tray is big and I want it to be, you know, a fairly substantial, uh, put my gloves back on, fairly substantially thick piece. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I was debating on doing it just clear, right? And then I thought, well, Meow, meow, meow. I don't really want it just plain old clear. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of color to it. Not a lot, but, you know, a little bit. I'm going to put some of this Mirage Gold Mica Powder into the resin. And that'll just give us a pretty little background if I can get the little doodle thing open. I don't want a big, huge amount because I don't want it to just overwhelm. So I'm going to put one of these little spoons in there and mix that together. This is a very, very pretty color. It's like an interference almost gold, but that particular brand, which I couldn't tell you what it is, uh, is they call it Mirage Gold. So, but it's like an interference gold or ghost gold, however you want to put it. Just going to make sure that that is good and stirred in. Make sure that there's no chunky bits of resin. Or of resin, listen to me. Of mica coming up to the top. Because I don't really want any floaty bits, but you know, floaty bits happen. If 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 there's some floaty bits in the end of it, then okay, we'll have some floaty bits. So that is well and stirred up, very nice. So all I'm going to do, really, I mean, this is so stupid simple. Um, I'm just going to pour it into the mold. And just cover the bottom of the mold with the Mirage Gold. Do that. Let's give it a zhuzh. Just make sure we get into all the corners. And 
then we'll let it settle back down. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Just moving around. I like that. Mm. The water. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start placing these little shards in to the resin. And no rhyme or reason to it. It's a mosaic. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's just a supposed to be pretty. I am trying to choose which side I like better though. Out of each piece. And I'm pretty sure I've got most of them facing the correct way up, so. I think I want you right there. All right. Look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm digging it. All right. So now I'm just going to give it another tiny torch just in case. And I'll be chasing bubbles for a while with it because. If any bubbles come up from underneath the mosaic pieces, I will get them. But that's actually pretty groovy. Um, almost looks like abalone in a way, but, you know, a little more, I don't know, geometric. Uh, so anyway, uh, we will keep an eye on this and I will uh, get back to you with updates and we'll go from there. All right. See you soon. Okay, update. I have added four ounces of resin to the top as a top coat. And two of my little birdie buddies for handles. So you can see them and they are embedded in the top coat of resin. I also added some little um, resin flat beads that I had made that I just had left over from another thing um, just to fill up some space but yeah so this is what it's looking like I'll see you for the demo all right guys here it is all cured up so let's get it out of the mold Here we go. Sweet little tray. You can see some of the gold sank to the bottom, which is perfectly fine with me. Got nice crisp edges. Our little birdie handles are nice and sturdy in there. So what I'm going to do is put some little feet on it. Let's just put some little feet here in each of the corners. And these are just plastic, you know, rubber. I think they're 
cabinet bumpers or something they call them. And I'm also going to put one in the middle, just in case, to keep it nice and level. And there we go. So now it's up off whatever surface you put it on. And you can move it around and you can use it and everything is beautiful. And I love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The coaster that we cut up is just all of the colors are coming out. And to me, it, it, it looks like shell or abalone or mother of pearl or, you know. And I like the uh, little resin circles that I added in here just as space filler. I think they go well together and the birds are that lovely sparkly blue. So it all matches and it turned out really cute. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments if you do. Let me know in the comments if you don't. Um, but all of that good stuff and I will see you guys for the next one. Take care. Cheers.